strange things about Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott's relationship. Reality star Kylie Jenner and rapper Travis Scott became an item in April 2017, but their relationship is already moving at war speed. There are a lot of unusual aspects to this romance, but here are some of the strangest that we know of so far. They're already expecting. On September 23, 2017, news broke that Jenner was pregnant with Scott's baby. The source told TMZ that Jenner, 20, and Scott, 25, are expecting a girl. They started telling friends a few weeks ago. An insider told People, adding that the baby is due in February 2018. The family has known for quite some time. She is really excited and so is Travis. Another source close to the family said, it is an unexpected but completely amazing turn of events that she could not be more excited or thrilled about. Everyone is overjoyed for her. This is the happiest she ever been. As for Scott, the source said, he was so excited he couldn't keep it in. He's been so affectionate and protective of Kylie since they found out. He can't wait to be a dad. Kylie was really surprised but so happy. She wants to be a mom. If Jenner's reported due date is correct, that means she conceived less than two months into her relationship with Scott. At the time of this writing, neither Scott nor Jenner have confirmed the pregnancy to the press. He was her rebound from TGA. Insiders claimed that while Jenner and Scott may be deeply in love now, she initially started getting close to him to urge her ex, rapper TGA, with whom she had a tumultuous on-again off-again relationship. Travis and Kylie have been friends for a while and they all hang out. The source told people early on in Jenner's romance with Scott. When she and TGA are having prom, she tries to make him jealous by hanging out with other guys. When Kylie is happy, they're happy but it's never that simple. There's always some kind of drama with Kylie and TGA. They have matching tattoos. In June 2017, Jenner and Scott made their love permanent in a different way. The pair flaunted matching ink at Khloe Kardashian's 33rd birthday party. They recently got matching butterfly tattoos on their ankles that they were showing off to their friends and family, the source told People. They were super affectionate and Travis was constantly kissing Kylie on the cheek and whispering in her ear. Their relationship seems to be getting stronger and they're closer than ever. She was a commitment phobe. Jenner seemed to be in no rush to be tied down or to make a long-term commitment, and, well, now she got an 18-year commitment to a child which gives those close to her some pause. Kylie broke up with TGA partly because she felt too young to get serious, the source told People. Now she having a baby with a guy she just started dating. People around her are really surprised. It happened really fast, but for Kylie, being with Travis is so different than anyone else. She's so in love with him. She's really excited. Jenner addressed her commitment issues on her reality show, Life of Kylie via In Touch Weekly. There was absolutely not one thing wrong with me and TGA. He and I will always, always have a bond, she said. There was no crazy fight, we just decided well, I decided that I'm really young. I don't want to look back in five years from now and feel like he took something from me when he's really not that type of person. Scott is Arihana's ex. Before hooking up with Jenner, Scott was linked to Arihana in September 2015 and is seen here with Jenner's half-brother-in-law. Danny West though the romance was seemingly short-lived. Travis and Arihana are dating, officially, the source told E. News. It's already very serious. He's very into her. Arihana analyzed Travis a lot and hopes it develops into something more. All of her friends think he is gonna be the keeper. The source added, Travis is completely her type and they share the same interests. Jenner can add Scott to the list of traits she shares with Riri including cosmetics empires, humor deals, and scandally clad Instagram posts. She doesn't think she can have a normal relationship. Jenner lamented own life of Kylie via In Touch Weekly that it's tough for her to have a normal relationship with anyone. The hardest part about having a relationship for me is just that it's blasted all over the internet. You have to hear about other people's opinions on who you're with, she said. It's a lot. Most of the time it's just not true. Like. You have no idea what I'm like in a relationship, or what kind of bond I have with somebody else. She added, you cannot win the internet. There's no winning. It's just unnecessary negativity. I feel like I'm in a relationship with the world sometimes. She's scared of being alone. Jenner is reportedly terrified to be alone, 
especially in her own massive Beverly Hills mansion. So reports say that she invited Scott to move in with her after less than six months together. It's a big A asterisk asterisk house and Kylie honestly doesn't want to be there alone with her dogs, the source told Hollywood Life. She would be too scared to be by herself. She wants to feel protected and secure and Travis provides that. Besides, she wants someone to keep her warm at night and to tell her how beautiful she is in the morning. And the only man she wants to make her feel that way and tell her that is Travis. They're really into one another and she's the one who suggested that they play house and see how living under one roof would be. The source added, she doesn't want him to pitch in financially, she just wants his presence. There are no shotgun wedding plans. Sources told People that Jenner and Scott have no immediate plans to wed. That seems in line with how her mom, Chris Jenner, reacted to TMZ cameras in August 2017, when asked if Scott has her blessing to marry Kylie. Mama Chris cracked up laughing. Because they may already be married. Maybe the reason there are no wedding plans is because they already had one. The source told Life and Style that despite the Kardashians' propensity for televised weddings and breakups Kylie and Scott may have gotten married privately and quietly. Kylie and Travis tied the knot at her Calabasas mansion, an insider dished. It wasn't a big, glamorous affair like other Kardashian weddings, and only a few close friends were invited. But Kylie is crazy about Travis. There were no officially cameras there, but Kylie asked her friends to film the special moment on their Venice. If this is true, we're willing to bet Mama Chris was breathing down Kylie's neck to get a prenup.